the Starnes' storeroom. So today we're going to be covering a US Navy Gunner's Mate impression. Uh, this impression is based around 2010. Uh, and if you don't know what a gunner's mate is, it's one of the two oldest rates in the United States Navy. They operate everything uh, from a 9mm handgun, like a Beretta M9, all the way up to the 5 inch naval guns on board a ship. So, we're going to be looking at all the equipment they wear, so from head to toe, starting with the body armour. Okay, so, the first piece of body armour. Uh, we're going to be looking at is the Pasket Helmet. The Pasket Helmet was introduced in the early 80s and it's a combat helmet made from 19 levels of Kevlar and is rated level 3 protection. It is a very effective helmet. It was used by all of the United States Armed Services at a, at a certain point in history. And if you didn't know what PALSKIT stands for, it stands for Personal Armour System for Ground Troops. There's even a vest that goes with it, which we will be covering in another video. Behind me is the other part of the body armour we're going to be talking about. Now this is an Interceptor Body Armour, or IBA, as it's uh, often referred to. It is a bullet-resistant vest, and this was also used by all the US Armed Services at a certain point in history around the 2000s, about 2000 to 2010. Uh, and what it consists of is a outer tactical vest and two sappy plates, one at the front and one at the rear. Uh, it does have some optional extras which you can wear. It's got a collar for, for your throat to give you throat protection and it also has uh, groin protection because you know that is very vital place to be protecting. So that really is the armour you would wear as a US Navy gunner's mate. Okay so the next uh, piece of equipment we're going to be looking at is really the uniform he's wearing. So this uniform was introduced in January 2009 and it's called the Navy Work Uniform. This is a Type 1 Navy Work Uniform. And some of you might have seen it before on the likes of the Battleship and the Last Ship, I believe it's called. Uh, so it's got quite a good following already. There's a lot of people that don't like it as well. And the reason for that is because it's not a very, well, it doesn't look like a very effective camouflage. Um, it actually wasn't intended to be a camouflage, which people don't really know about. It was actually a work uniform. And the idea of it was that you'd wear it on a ship and you'd do well, your everyday tasks, which would be rather dirty, as you could imagine. So the idea of it is it does actually work as a camouflage, but it's a camouflage of dirt on the uniform. So oil stains, paint, and the colours they selected for this uniform uh, match the dirt that would likely be seen on board a ship. So that's the first reason. The second reason is that it is a statement, it, is, it links the Navy's heritage with the sea and it also is to represent the Navy's history. So that really does sum it all up really. Now the uniform has various features, it's a similar cut to the US Marine Corps' MARP hat. Uh, they wear an eight-pointed hat, as you can see there, an eight-pointed cover. Uh, which the uh, US Marines wear something very similar to. It's um, a nice uniform, I believe. And it's to be worn with a black pair of high leg boots, as you can see here. The most accurate pair of boots uh, to wear with this impression are the US Navy safety boots. Okay, so I mentioned before that there are a lot of people that don't actually like this uniform. Um, and because of that, lots of jokes have come about because of it. So there, it's been named Blueberry, it's been named Aquaflage, and there is the, the old joke that if you were to fall overboard you would actually blend in with the sea and to be honest they're not wrong. In 2012 another problem came about as well that it was deemed unsafe to be worn on board a ship because it was made out of very flammable material so you could only really wear it offshore which isn't very good for a navy work uniform. Eventually, 
uh, it was replaced with Type 2 and Type 3 uh, Navy work uniform. And as of 2019, it could no longer be worn. So that really did mark the end of this uniform. Some of you might be uh, thinking, oh, well, he, doesn't men he hasn't mentioned various other pieces of equipment, such as the lightweight helmet and the Mitch helmet, and um, other forms of body armor that Navy wear. This is just one impression. So hopefully in the future, we'll be covering all those pieces of equipment. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video and uh, I'll see you in the next one.